What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again. Another day, another budget meal. And today it is the turn of chicken stew and rice, which actually looks half decent. So I'll put the ingredients on the screen here. So we've got 550 grams of chicken thighs, 200 grams of onions, 14 grams of garlic, 125 grams of mushrooms, 75 grams of bacon, two teaspoons of flour, one stock cube, and 250 grams of rice. Now that is for four people. Now this time, obviously, I'm, I've got the fussiest girls in the world, so they're not gonna eat this. So I have actually thirded this down and basically made it just for one. But if you're watching this as a family of four, follow these instructions to the guide and you'll be fine. So let me just give you a little look at what I bought and the, the ingredients we're gonna to use today. As you can see from the ingredients, we have got chicken thigh portions. We have got brown onions. We have got garlic. I have to chop that up, minced or diced or uh, grated. We have got some mushrooms, which I'm gonna clean and quarter stock cube bacon and the only two things i didn't actually buy from the supermarket it because i had them in my staples cupboard is rice and plain flour because i already had these from the morrison's from a previous shopping expedition the flour is our date 9 2022 i'm bored about that <laughs> won't do me any harm so i'll get these ingredients all prepped and we'll get to it. So there were the ingredients, so it's time for us to get cooking. Now, I need to do a little prep work, which I'm not going to go through the whole palaver of showing you guys me washing mushrooms and dicing bacon and chopping onions up. I'll just skip to the bit where it's all done, as if by magic, like this. And it's done. So, let's come and have a look at this, and then we'll... Um, and then we'll get cooking. We'll start following the method. So here I have got my rice already cooked, washed mushrooms, I haven't quartered them yet. Peeled onions, I need to just dice them up. I've chopped the bacon up. Like I said, I am going to, uh, I've, I'm only making it for me. So this is the bowl I'm gonna use, the oven proof dish. This is my, I'm gonna have two chicken thighs with it. Stock cube and some stock, vegetable stock and some garlic, which I'm going to mince. So step one, it says, cook the rice as per pack instructions and then set aside, which as you can see, I've already done. So my rice is there, cooked, ready to go. That's all the way to the end. So it's tells you to do that, very beginning. Preheating the oven to 200, which it is. Now we're gonna get in the large mixing bowl. In here I have um, salt, plain flour, and I've actually put Italian herbs in it because I don't have any pepper. So you make, make do with what you can from the staple cupboard. So now we've got to get these chicken thighs. In a large mixing bowl, toss the chicken thighs in two tablespoons of flour. So I've got to toss them, put them in there. So let's do that now. So I've got to toss these two chicken thighs into this flour. Please bear with me because this is the most I have ever cooked. Like doing this sort of stuff. Normally I'd just put this in the rotisserie and I've got you've got to mix it up. So I don't know if this is gonna add flavor or what, but it's got to do this and then sit, uh, set aside. This is all new to me. It does dry it out, I wonder if that's why. So in a large mixing bowl, toss a chicken thighs in two tablespoons of plain flour, season them well and set aside. There we go, so I've got to set that aside. So, on to stage number four. So, this is a little bit confusing because step four says next, in a large oven proof dish, place the onions, garlic, bacon and mushrooms. Now, I thought I might have to fry these off a little bit before putting them straight into this dish. Because like that bacon's raw. The onions, are raw. is it gonna cook in the oven or should I be frying this off? Am I just thick as I'm, like I say, I'm no chef, so I'm just going to follow it by the letter and just put it straight in here. It does go in for 15 to 20 minutes, so you can imagine the bacon will start to cook. Bit worried, but oh well. So I put the garlic in and diced a couple of the onions up, and I feel like that because I've got such a smaller dish, 
I'm a bit bad at judging um, how much I should be putting in so I think that I'm gonna save I'm gonna put some there's just gonna be too much for this dish so I think that my best bet is So I've got to mix all this up now. That's going to be enough for one portion there. So that's now, let me get my steps up. So the next step, now we've got this vegetable bacon stew base. The next step is to place the dusted chicken thighs in the dish over the top of them. So, like I said, I've only got two because I'm only doing one for me not a lot of room here but they fit in there nicely two chicken thighs and then we've got to step six is bake the dish in the oven in the top of the oven uncovered for around 15 to 20 minutes or until the chicken skin starts to crisp so this is going to go in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes and that's and then we'll go on to step seven it's in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes for, until the chicken skin crisps. You know, I'm going to have a bacon and mushroom sandwich tomorrow for my breakfast with the remains of this. Always look on the bright side of life and all that. Let's hope that this uh, this chicken stew is going to actually work. <laughs> oh, it can happen. So, we've got to get this vegetable stock cube into some water. There we go, give that a mix up. So, step seven, remove the dish from the oven and turn the heat down to 180. <laughs> so that's what I've done. That is the dish as it stands at the moment. And then it says add 250 ml of the stock to the dish and return the dish to the oven uncovered and cook for a further 10 minutes. So I have got the stock, obviously I just think you need to um, cover, cover the vegetables and you could always sieve it out after I suppose. there we go That's probably too much of the stock because obviously I still use a stock cube I did only add 180 but I'm sure it'll be fine so then I've got to put this back in the oven at 180 for 10 minutes and then we go on to step 9 which is the final step then we should be able to taste it so I'll give you a closer look at this so this is it going in for the final 10 minutes. So this is just about done. Straight out of the uh, oven. Looking good. So, on to step nine. Let's have a look. It says, one's cooked, which this is. Use the stock and juices from the dish to fold through and season the rice. So, I'm guessing that fold through means mix up with the rice. I think, if I'm not mistaken, fold through is like two different ingredients of different textures, like a like a thick ingredient. And a... so I bring this rice back in my pre my rice previously cooked. Probably don't need all that. In fact, let me get the chicken onto a plate first. Let me take this chicken out of here. It's got a crispy skin there. If you listen to that. So we've got the chicken out. Put that to one side. 
we've got all this lovely stew. So it's basically bacon, garlic, onion and mushroom stew, isn't it? So it's time to plate it up. We're going to start with this seasoned rice here. And then we'll get some of this stew on there. So that is like the stew. And then we'll return these two pieces of chicken to the plate. To be fair, I probably could get a second portion out of this if I just had one piece of chicken on this plate. But I'm not going to, I'm going to go with two. See if we can make it look anything resembling the picture previously. So I'm actually going to just And there we have it, chicken stew and rice. But I'm gonna give this a taste. I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try this rice, this seasoned rice with this vegetable stock. Oh, that vegetable stock is really nice. Gives it a nice flavor. So the bacon obviously went in raw, so I was a bit worried about that. Bacon and mushroom. So we're gonna give this bacon go. It'll come out perfect, so no no worries about it being raw. But I was worried. Onions and mushrooms. The stew looks good. Inside the chicken there, I'll give you a little look. Inside the chicken is perfectly cooked there. That's the bacon, the pink one. Inside the chicken is perfectly cooked. I'm going to give it a go now. Oh yeah. Even with like the gravy, gravy, the stew, it's still got a bit of a, a crisp on these chicken fillets. And even though I thought I, mm, it's really nice actually. This is a banger, which is incredible for this food. It's absolutely delicious and made on a budget. All just essentials, essentially. Just essentials, essentially. This is an absolute bargain, an absolute steal. I will definitely make this again. Hopefully I'll be better. Even though I've reduced all the ingredients, I've still got quite, probably enough for a, another portion if I made some more chicken. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow for another another one i don't know what we're doing tomorrow but if you if you haven't already hit that subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's video and the notify bell so it tells you when it goes live see you tomorrow for another budget food review cooking show whatever we want to call it <laughs>